right, what's up guys? So, another early morning. Just got done uh, tuning yesterday. Got the car all loaded up. Kind of a mess in here because it was up until like midnight just tossing it together. But heading down to English Town. I'm gonna do some testing. I think um, maybe Grant's coming, Hop's coming. See how the car does. And then uh, I got two more days until Drift Appalachia. So fingers crossed, I'll have to do more work. So as you can tell in that clip, uh, testing didn't go that well. Small issue. Um, just went to go take off from the, the start line, like did a little scrub, a couple figure eights. Floored it in first, floored it in second, and then popped a rocker off. Actually, it snapped a rocker in half, which I have laying over here. This happens sometimes. That's our stuff. Um, bigger issue was that I lost the shim in the guide. So they went down to the bottom of the pan, fished them out. They're good. Got the new rocker in there. Um, new shim and guide back in there. And then I found out that the timing chain was extremely loose. So the old tensioner right here, this old crusty guy, just way too weak. I can move it by hand, no problem. If I pull a detent out, I can move it even more. Yeah, so wasn't doing it. Overnighted a Mazworks tensioner. Got that in here now, right down there. And chain is nice and tight. Quarter inch of slack, a little bit more, but it's pretty good right there. So, slapped the valve cover back on it. Um, it was just a tiny little issue. So we had the boost cut set up for a hard cut, um, uh, an ignition cut. So now we're gonna change it to a fuel cut, um, a soft fuel cut, and I raised the, the actual target for the boost a little bit. So it's fine. This turbo can't hurt this engine, it's too small. Put it back together, fingers crossed, it starts right up and runs good. So I can go put it in the trailer, but we are not testing before a drift Appalachia. No problem, drive down a mountain, no testing. Should be all right. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, here goes nothing. It's all sealed up. Fan shroud's back, crank pulley's on. I think everything's lined up. It's got oil in it. Plug this guy back on. Yeah. Okay, that's on. Valve cover's down. Fuel pack's in, plug's in. Fuel pump relay's back in. Power on. Let's see what happens. Fuel pressure, looks good. Come on, buddy. Neutral wobble. Okay. good except for this evil energy fitting. Grant said they're the best fittings. So I got good fittings here. This one for some reason was leaking so I swapped to an evil energy I found in the trailer and it just instantly just pours out everywhere. <sighs> Quick fix but engine sounds good. Let's hope it works. Spoke too soon. That little tapping sound sounds like a stuck lifter. So it's all gonna come back apart. Gotta pull the cams out, re-bleed the lifters by hand, Put it back together, retime it and everything, and start over. Okay, here we go. Lifters are bled. Uh, timing chain's tight. New rockers are in. Everything's shimmed tight. Looks like the BTC is bad. No big deal. But the car is outside. Uh, it looks like shit. This is three years with the same arrow and same livery. So I can't believe it's even in this shape. But it's as good as it's going to get for this one. We'll do a quick wash. Mount up a couple extra wheels. And then, uh, yeah. Hit the old mountain trail. So there she is. Please work hard. All right, I'll load it up. Apparently, the seven pin on the truck has different wiring because my auxiliary power is gone. But whatever. Tools, spares, car, truck, already. We made it. All right. No, not here. Yeah. Nice, beautiful morning. Pop over here. Got this little guy in my tire. 
We got a little time. Pop that thing out. Get to work. We're gonna street drive Grant's car over. Put all the shit in the trailer. Go see these roads. Bad intro, but that's what you get. I took all of the kids' pills today, so I'm done. Okay, the kids' pills. <laughs> Where are we? West Virginia. West Virginia. <laughs> Alright, so I have to take an angle there. I don't have a big forehead. Is this the right <laughs> is this the right angle? Is it higher? Like no, this? Maybe. Alright, I'll go high. So hopefully my forehead looks normal. But we're uh Drift Appalachia. Finally in West Virginia. It took forever to get the car done, but it's done. I hope it runs. I'm not like crazy confident, but it's here. Just gonna check the tire pressure. Um, go do some sight laps. Well, not really a sight lap, but I'm gonna kind of wing it. So, bump the tire pressure. Probably run like 28 in the rear, 28 in the front. Feel out the new knuckle. See what it does. Fingers crossed it works. Uh, we got Hop and Tom and Grant. Probably stick with those guys for the day. Get some tandem runs. Do some in-car stuff. I don't have my 360 video because uh, Josh left the camera in Japan. So that's with a. Uh, Japan boys still, but it's alright. Got all the GoPros. Fingers crossed though, please. Please work car. For once, please work. Morning tag. YouTubers in the wild. Okay, I'm fine. I will. Yay. I will try. Safe. Super safe. Safety third. Oh fuck. Kill switch. Dang it. Okay. Now safety third. <laughs> Car almost caught on fire. So like, Click bottom, bait. Like, oh. yeah, I got on. I think I'm gonna go pro. Yeah, car like catches on fire. Pop the hood open. Throw the thing in the woods, which probably started a fire, which is bad. <laughs> got back in. I couldn't get my harnesses on, so I missed the whole downhill. But I got two uphills. Then Tom almost flipped right in front of me. Yeah, Tom like he did it twice. He went like too wide in one section. Second time is way too wide. And Hop went off on the first lap downhill. <laughs> How does your car feel? Good, it sounds weird. Like, it's, maybe it's not used to straight pipe. Temps are good, everything seems good. It's leaking a little bit of power steering, but like, I don't have like the full shakes. I got a little shake. I zoom in on a little that. drug. a second the worst spot possible probably the worst spot but luckily Graham was paying attention got around me no big deal um, I don't know I think I ran out of fuel Check the logs. 
They look okay. I just, I'm not used to ethanol car. So that car used to drive all day on like 10 gallons. I put five in this morning and I think it ate up all the ethanol really fast. So easy fix, no big deal. Got done second session. Holy shit. This place is crazy. You guys have to like try to do this. If you're into like really fun style driving, this is like the most fun you can have. It's um the only thing that's ever given me a rush like Japan. So super fun. Um not the best driving. Like I feel like my hands are all over the place. I'm pulling the handbrake way too much. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing it, just like safety measures. Plus, so you see all your friends going to the bank, man. So I guess I'm just being a little pussy. But yeah, awesome time. We probably got a couple more laps left. Hey, water. I got the shakes. Not too bad, actually. Pretty smooth. All right, guess we need to go faster. Day two. Uh, day two back to the same mountain. Weather looks kind of cloudy. It's supposed to be dry, right? It's supposed right? to be partly cloudy, but dry. Dry. So, same thing. Just going to do a repeat. Try to like get a little bit better with our lines. I want to stop using the handbrake, do some more tandems, and uh, keep the car in one piece. Okay, battery died. What was I saying? Uh, I have to check fluids, check bolts. You were saying it's supposed to be the same weather. Same weather. 
we did a cruise last night and the car did pretty good. Um, I thought there was something wrong with the coolant because it's been so low all day. The average is like 174, 176, which is really low. I'm used to Jay-Z's being like 230. Seems fine. It's full of water still, no air, no nothing. So car's just doing its job. But I want to bolt check it because on the cruise it was shaking a lot, but probably just shitty tires and bent wheels. So yeah, should be a really easy maintenance day. And then we do some driving, right? Yeah. Okay, bye. I'm a little nervous for Tom. Same. Action is gonna be fast. Cars just gonna roll the rest of the way. Look at the other jack. It's still holding it up though. The other jack. This dirty stick. Yay! Yeah, that's good. There's rocks everywhere. We get that jack out for you. Maybe we should just put the wheel on really fast. Yeah. What's the other? Oh, Rich, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Changing mountain tires on the mountain. You know what it is? Rich rushed me. I didn't rush you. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. We're here at Drift Appalachia. Appalachia. Uh, I didn't know that's how you were supposed to say it, but... Or it's Appalachia. Appalachia? Appalachia. Is it actually? That's what Instagram says. Dude, we're driving. I don't want to like toot our own horns, but we're having heater runs. Yeah. And we haven't crashed yet. I don't know no. if that's a good thing to say, say but... We're not going to crash. There's a competition too. We can win two Three sets coil of coilovers. Do you think it's two sets? Uh, each person gets a set. Don't We're not gonna split a pair. Of you take the front. Right. I'll take the rear. No, I want the left side. Okay. <laughs> oh, deal. Right yeah. So, Rich and I, do you want to lead or you want me to? Do you want me to lead? I say we switch. We do like, uh, like whatever. I lead, you lead, and then just yeah, rotate. Oh, go back and forth. He said up and down. I, we're Only not the best going down. No, he said they're just gonna judge us. It's not like a comp. They're gonna but like just, us rotate. They're just gonna watch the dr us drive the last session and see how we do. They'll like the rotating. But they're standing in a good spot where we're so drifting. You. What? So I keep aiming at you. That's fine. Steal your followers. I'm gonna go steal steal my followers. All right. What's mine's is yours, Rich. Okay, so there's a comp. Uh, we get to win two sets of coilovers. We're gonna try. See how it goes. Put some in car in here. That's a wrap. Um, suck to filming once again. I get distracted. So I get in the car and it's like, you drive for a little bit, you come back, you have 15 minute breaks between sessions. So it's just enough to do fuel, whatever kind of like random fix, change tires, stuff like that. And then you're back in the car. So long days, but um, we didn't win. I think we're gonna win. Had a lot of fun though. And the cars are clean, still one piece. 
probably some of the most fun driving I've had in a long time. So I'm happy. I felt really shitty about how the car was treating me. Uh, but yeah, feel relieved now. So I'm gonna go back, fix some little things. It's got a couple leaks. I gotta move the breather a little bit higher because that fills up. Uh, clutch is starting to go probably from half of today. But I'll fix that stuff and add some more grip to the car a little bit. It's, it's still pretty loose. And go to the next event. We're gonna do Hyperfest. So I'll probably turn up a smidge. Made like probably 350, maybe 380 today, somewhere around there. Um, gonna aim for like 400, 420 for Hyperfest. So yeah, a couple more weeks and we'll go do that. So thanks for watching. If anybody watched, there's probably like eight people watching, but thanks anyway. Uh, keep moving forward.